usually visit Costco for the stuff that I need. I've been there multiple times and eventually developed a habit of going through aisle 7, 10, 23, and 25. It was like muscle memory from the amount of times I've been in these sections every time I shopped at Costco. Everybody would mind their own business until, one day, I had this nagging feeling that someone was watching me from a distance. Do you know that feeling you get when you feel like you're being watched and your body begins to tense up profusely for reasons you couldn't understand? That's how I felt at the time. Typically, people in haunted establishments would experience such a thing, but I wasn't in any of those places. This was just an average wholesale store that I frequented, so I began to ask myself where this feeling was coming from. I scanned the area searching for the source. Then, moments later, I saw this creepy old man staring at me from across the aisle. It was this old, rugged, decrepit looking guy. He had a scruffy beard and a bowl cut like something from the 80s. His face was wrinkly and his eyes were dark, like he didn't sleep properly in weeks or was under much stress. I don't know, something was definitely off about him. I couldn't tell if he was checking me out or if he was looking at an item beside me. As I went through the apparel in the clothes department, I noticed the same man still looking Looking at me, he never once averted his gaze. He had that same gaunt stare and expression the entire time. I wanted to ask him what the hell his problem was but hesitated because I didn't want to cause a scene. I tried to reason with myself, looking behind me to see if there was someone the man could be looking at instead of me. But upon turning, nobody was there. And since I was the only person in the aisle, I quickly ruled out this possibility. Then, another thought came to mind when I considered he might just be interested in purchasing one of the clothing items. But this was rather strange as this was the woman's section, and it didn't seem like he was a cross-dresser nor did he appear to have a female companion, not trying to assume the worst. I decided to move to a different aisle, hoping I was only imagining things. However, as I walked to the aisle next to the cereal, further away from the clothes section, I noticed the bizarre man subtly following me from a distance, and when I stopped to check some other items on the shelves, I saw the exact same guy looking at me with his gaunt, disturbing stare. Even at this point, I wanted to convince myself that it was just a coincidence, denying the probable fact that he could be a stalker. So, this time, I relocated once more to the frozen food section, hoping the creep wouldn't follow me this time. As I briskly walked across the Costco, I made sure to glance behind me to ensure I wasn't being followed, and was relieved to see no trace of the man. Then, as I made it by the freezers, I walked toward the end of the aisle and decided to grab a few boxes of frozen pizza. And just when I thought I had lost him, I saw the most disturbing, blood-curdling thing that still creeps me out to this day. I saw the man inside the freezer, pressed up against the glass. He was just staring at me with his eyes wide open. I ran the hell out of there and began checking out the pizza boxes while keeping my composure. The cashier and customers looked at me weird, but I disregarded them as I proceeded to cash out. As I stepped out of the Costco, I began speed walking towards my car which was located at the back of the parking lot. I could feel my anxiety levels go through the roof. I was near the car when suddenly, a vehicle pulled up in front of me, blocking my pathway. I had a sinking feeling in my stomach when I I realized the vehicle left its back door wide open. When he rolled down the window, I was surprised to see another man staring at me in the same fashion as the man from Costco. Then, out of nowhere, that same man from Costco charged at me, forcing me to get inside the back seat. I hollered louder than any scream I had ever done in my entire life, constantly kicking and pushing till I managed to break free. However, the man was able to snatch my purse. I was able to grab a hold of my purse as it protruded from the vehicle door. As the car sped up, I was dragged along the pavement. I didn't want to let go despite my legs being scraped. My heart was beating like crazy because I was convinced this was the end of the road, but I didn't cave in. In fact, if I was going to die, I had to make sure these lunatics would get caught. I held onto the purse for as long as possible until I finally detached from the vehicle. The only thing I could remember was rolling violently on the ground until my body laid flat. My body was so battered that I couldn't move. 
I was sure I had several fractured bones. Moments later, my vision began to blur, and I was losing my auditory senses as well. But before losing consciousness, I heard the voices of bystanders murmuring amongst each other. Gladly, some of them were thoughtful enough to call the cops. Everything went dark after that, and when I woke up again, I discovered that the cops had caught the creep while the driver attempted to run for his life. Eventually, he turned himself in and was also arrested. When I recovered and visited the police station, we checked the surveillance footage and saw the initial creep following multiple women at Costco. It was alleged that the man and his accomplice were plotting on the women as they seemed to like easier targets to rob. Since then, I would always watch my back whenever I entered a store, whether it was a Costco or someplace else. This story was inspired by an incident that happened at Costco in St. Peter's, Missouri. A woman was shopping at Costco when she encountered a man who kept following her around the store. As she leaves, the man snatches the woman's purse and runs into a getaway car driven by another male. When the woman runs after the guy, she gets stuck in the suspect's car door and gets dragged along. Police say the woman was able to get her purse back and was treated in a hospital for minor injuries. One of the assailants were caught while the other turned themselves in and have since been sentenced accordingly. Attention Costco members, looking for more rewards? Then please proceed to subscribe to Horror Shorts Party. Have a pleasant shopping experience and a great day. Can I help you find anything in particular, sir? Maybe. You see, I'm planning to propose to my girlfriend I met at a brothel. I guess I'm looking for a nice diamond ring and didn't even know Costco sold jewelry at all. <laughs> well, we actually have quite the selection. Would you like a recommendation? Anything to make her say yes. Oh, well, then you've come to the right place. We have a wide selection of carrots and can cater to any size. Is there any chance you can make the ring big? My wife always has trouble getting the right fit. Did you meet your wife? Wife at SeaWorld? Excuse me? Ma'am, please be patient and wait your turn. Hey, Penny Pitcher! If you don't have the dough, then you're in the wrong line! Go get a ring pop from Dollar Tree! I'm sure your SeaWorld wife would enjoy eating the ring anyway! Ma'am, please, I- Just hurry it up! If I have to sit here all day waiting for you, my milk's gonna spoil like my saggy waist warmers! I won't be able to eat my frosted flakes if you don't make a decision in the next minute! Ma'am, please calm down. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Mr. Wedgie over here. You know I can see your whole crack. Why don't you turn around so I can see your baby carrot too? Perhaps you should shop at Costco more and not at Baby Gap. <laughs> Thank you for your help, but I think I'll shop somewhere with classier clientele. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Why don't you apologize to me for the inconvenience? Uh, I'm sorry? I... I apologize, ma'am. How can I help you? That's more like it. How about you get on your knees and fetch me this ring over here? Sure thing. Here you go. It might be a little tight. The last time I seen a ring this tight was when my husband put a ring on us. You don't need to share this, ma'am. Just help me get the ring over my knuckle, Costco boy! Uh, okay. It's a little too tight. That's what he said. <laughs> ma'am, that's a little too much. Slide it down my finger or I'm calling your boss! I'm not sure this ring will fit. Why don't we try a bigger size? Don't make comments about my weight, boy! Fine. Just get me another ring the size of your magic wand before you make my finger look more saggy, idiot! Sure, ma'am. You sure do look good down there. I could definitely get used to that. Can we please keep this professional? I don't know. Can we? <laughs> I definitely can. Here. Don't start copping an attitude with me, boy. And this ring looks too big. This one's too small. That one's kind of dull, but ooh, yes. This one looks just perfect. Quickly, put it on for me, daddy. I'm not your daddy. And hurry up 
so I can vomit at break time. Oh, so amazing. I love it. So does this mean we're engaged now? What? Hell no. Oh, come on, Costco boy. They say 80 is the new 20. You know, my husband wouldn't even be able to put a ring this size on, right? It would just fall right off. He must have some kind of shrinking disease. So tell me, princess, is it going to fit? Lady, please, I already have a girlfriend. Just get your ring and stop trying to pick up people at Costco. <laughs> Fine! You don't know what you're missing out on! I want a divorce! I think I decided I don't like this ring after you ruined it for me! Grab me one of those colorful rings behind you! Maybe I'm not a diamond girl after all! You got it. Here you- wait a second. Where did that ring go? What are you talking about? Are you blind? It's right here on my finger! No, it's not! That's a completely different ring! I'm not stupid! Yes, you are! Don't play with me, lady! Give me the ring back or I'm calling the cops! What? Why? I haven't done anything wrong! Enough! Give it back now! Hey! Let go of me, you creep! I don't consent! You're no longer my husband! <laughs> Get away from me, boy! Somebody get my wheelchair! Ah! Just give up! This is the only time you'll ever get a girl face down underneath you! Yeah, right! It'll be easy with this ring! Hey! What are you doing with that? That's mine! Hey, lady! Keep your hands where we can see them! You're under arrest! My husband is the only one that has consent to arrest me! You will not get away from this punk! Oh my god, babe, I'm so happy to see you. What happened to you? Why are you so sweaty? D don't worry about that. I have something important to ask you. What? Will you marry me? Wh Ew! No, in fact, I'm dumping you for even thinking about proposing to me in a Costco. What? No! This story was inspired by an incident that happened at Costco in Nutley, New Jersey. Authorities say a 49-year-old woman named Isabel had stolen a diamond ring worth $2,000 and then swapped it out with another ring at that very Costco worth $28,000. The Costco staff then called police after realizing what had happened. Police were then able to track the woman at her home and arrest her. She has since been charged with theft. Chili powder, chili powder. Where could it be? Shouldn't it be between the cayenne and the cumin? They should really have all this in alphabetical order if they're gonna have 10 million of these things on one shelf. Huh? <gasps> oh, crap, that scared the hell out of me. You on your way home yet? Soon. Man, where is a Costco employee when you need one? At this point, I'm about to just buy some sriracha. If I don't find this crap in the next five minutes, I'm gonna order Uber Eats next time. God damn it, I'm about to just give up. Oh, there's one. What the hell? Jeez, I guess their hiring standards have gone down. Whatever. Uh, excuse me, could you help me find something, please? Here goes nothing. Hello, how can I make your shopping experience better? I'm... <laughs> I'm trying to cook a special dinner for my wife tonight. I already found everything else I need except for the darn chili powder, which is hiding from me. Chili powder, huh? Your wife like it spicy? Um, yeah, I guess, if it tastes good. <laughs> I know all about tasting good. My ex used to say my barbecue sausage just tastes good. <laughs> The reason I say barbecue is because I got a tan down there. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry? What are you talking about? Oh, come on. We're adults. You know exactly what I'm talking about. How about I join in with you and your wife? <laughs> Would you mind? What? Absolutely not. So you wouldn't mind being a little while I make your wife sweat with my spices? <laughs> I, no. Uh, yes. Damn it. Stop twisting my words. You're not doing anything with my wife, you disgusting creep. What makes you think I'd let you into my house? D do you even work here? Of course I I do. Don't you see the name tag? I'm all about spicing things up. This is Costco, not naughty and nice. Haven't you heard about our new private chef service for our most loyal customers? I'm a flavor professional. I'll come to your house, cook for you, clean up for you, and make sure everyone is satisfied. You won't have to lift a finger. And don't worry about tipping me. <laughs> My tips are always on the house.
You cannot be serious. Who do you think you are? Some kind of Riz God? If you ever lay a finger on my wife, I'll cut off your hand and cram it down your throat like a stuck pig, you sick freak. Don't make empty threats against me, sir. Then do your job and tell me where the stupid chili powder is so I can pay for my stuff and get out of here. So you're looking for some spices, huh? Yes, that's the first thing I said to you. Get a nice close look then at some fresh ground black pepper. <sighs> What the hell are you doing? Are you interested in some paprika? No, stop it! How about some cayenne pepper? <sighs> no! You can never go wrong with a little garlic powder. It's not supposed to go in the eyes, you raging idiot! What's that? I can't hear you over the soothing waves of sea salt! Ah, if I could see you right now, I'd send you to the ICU! Looks like you have a little cumin on your face. You're insane! Is anybody seeing this guy? Are you a fan of that song that goes like, One more time! <laughs> Come here! Where are you? <laughs> Whoa there, no need for that. I still haven't shown you my favorite spice. What are you talking about? It's pure Carolina Reaper powder. They call it the Bomb! Ah! <coughs> Get away from me! <laughs> you see this? What's that supposed to be? It's a bomb! And if you try to stop me or blab to anyone, I'll detonate it and blow this whole store sky high with everyone in it. I don't believe you. You're bluffing. Do you really want to take that chance? I- no. I don't. I just want to go home to my wife. That's a smart boy. Now, why don't you show me the way to that wonderful wife of yours? I'd really love to meet her. Now lead us to your car so I can give her my homegrown jalapeno. Okay, okay, I I'm going. <sighs> Bomb! Bomb! He's got a bomb! Everyone get out of here! You're gonna regret that, you dirty snitch! Get back here! Help! Somebody get that guy! <sighs> You made a huge mistake! I'm gonna- ah! I don't know how I let that sicko dupe me into following for his insane antics. It turns out that he was made of lies. He didn't even work for Costco. Not a single employee knew he was there the whole time. He was just impersonating one of them with a secondhand uniform. And there was no bomb either. Just that stupid envelope. For a while, I thought I was the only one he tormented, but as soon as I followed the story afterwards, that turned out not to be the case. He had been using that uniform and that envelope to go around a bunch of different Costco's, just so he could engage with customers and freak them out by acting like a psychotic creep. He probably coerced a lot of people into doing whatever sick things he wanted under the impression that he might blow them up. Of course, it was all just empty threats. This story was inspired by an incident that happened at a Costco in Clearwater, Florida. A man was reportedly making false bomb threats with a suspicious envelope he had on hand. The store was evacuated for more than three hours while police, the K-9 unit, and hazardous materials crew members responded to the scene. Police then detained a 31-year-old man named Donovan, seen on the mugshot below. It was later confirmed that there was no apparent evidence of any threat found. 